Hello everyone, I'm Sam with Microbad.net and today I would like to answer a very simple and straightforward question and that is, should I root my Android device in order to cheat in games, to install mods, game hacking apps and so on? Now the argument that I'm going to make is going to be very objective and straightforward and based on my experience as the administrator of HackerBot.net. HackerBot.net of course is your number one way to find legitimate game hacking software for any platform including Android of course. You can find us by simply googling game hacks or HackerBot and you will find us. You can use our free finder that you will be able to access from our main page in order to find cheats for any game very easily. So let's get right into it. Should you root your Android device in order to cheat in games? Now the argument I'm gonna make is based on <laughs> you can lose a lot of money if you do that potentially. <laughs> potentially. Okay, so your average Android device is going to be anywhere between, let's say, a hundred dollars and one and a half thousand dollars somewhere, right? Of course, you have exceptions to that. Older phones, uh, mini phones like the Galaxy S4 Mini or whatever, okay? But on average, uh, actual phones cost a bunch of money, and if you're rooting a device, you are. Um, losing a lot of control over the device, you in some cases will lose the ability to install updates. It's a process that is often irreversible, okay, if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So once your device is rooted, uh, that's pretty much it, unless you are pretty tech savvy and no ways to reverse that process. So here's the argument I'm gonna make. On Android, you have things called emulators, okay? Now, the great thing about emulators like this one is that you can just simply install them on your computer. It doesn't have to be a new computer either, okay? And they allow you to very easily root your emulator, okay? So an emulator essentially is an, well, as the name implies, an emulated or simulated Android device on your computer. Now, it can do pretty much anything that your Android phone can do, but the great thing about it is, if you destroy something about it, you can simply uninstall the emulator, reinstall it, and there's no harm done. No lasting damage. Nothing, even if you have viruses on this emulator, uh, you can just uninstall it, reinstall it, you're done, okay? It's a clean install, again. So. On the other hand, if you're rooting your actual Android device, you stand to lose maybe a hundred dollars, maybe one and a half thousand dollars, okay? Maybe two thousand dollars. I don't know what's gonna be in the future. Is the Galaxy S20 Plus Super gonna be five thousand dollars? Who knows? Who knows? But you're standing to lose a lot of money, okay? And also, your device can get infected. Android and phones in general are getting more and more popular and so are viruses getting more and more prolific in this space. So what I suggest you do instead of rooting your device is going to the link down below in the description or going to Google and entering HackerBot root emulators. Okay, this will get you to our page on rootable Android emulators. Now as you can see, these are the top three that are rootable. They're extremely easy to root. They're extremely easy to play games on. And these will run on any computer pretty much, okay? These will run and and be as good as the, the newest, the best phone from Samsung or, or from Huawei or whoever, uh, even on a 10 year old computer, okay? You don't need a new computer. Computers, yeah, they're just, they're more powerful than phones and in even using emulation, you're still going to outperform a brand new phone with a 10 year old computer. So, um, what that means is you can't lose money. The problem, the only downside of it is that you need a computer or a laptop or something. Okay. But you can get 10 year old computers. I have 10 year old computers laying around that I don't need. I would probably be able to sell them for like 20 bucks. 
So, and, and there you go. You have your, your phone replacement. Nothing can go wrong. You can't break your device. You won't lose all your data. You won't get your device infected. You won't lose your Google account and so on and so on and so on. Because guys, especially when you're installing apps that aren't from trusted sources that aren't on the Play Store, which you're gonna be doing if you're trying to hack games, then you need to be extremely, extremely careful. Don't do it on your main device. Never do it on your main device. Don't never do it on your main com on your main account, Google account. Always use an old an old phone that has been all all your data has been deleted from it. Okay, so nobody can steal it anymore and connect it to an account that you don't care about if you lose it, okay? It's very important. Like even if you're downloading a app that is legitimate, but you're downloading it from a, a shady place, it might be infected, okay? Somebody may have decompiled it, inserted malware, recompiled it. So always, always be extremely, extremely careful when it comes to this kind of stuff. And really, since you're on Android, there's no downside. The only downside is you need a laptop or an old computer, and that's basically it. And then all you do is you install the emulator, you root it, and done, okay? Now, not all root, rooted apps will work on every emulator. You may have to try uh, multiple. So if the first one doesn't work for you, try the second one at HackerBud um, root emulators. Just Google HackerBud root emulators, you will find it you'll find the article these are the top three i could add more but really between these three you have everything you need in order to hack games and to do it safely and as i said never do this on your main account on your main google account first always try stuff on a secondary account on an old phone if you need to root a phone or on an emulator ideally if you are able to do that so Overall, it's in your own interest to never ever use your latest phone to root. And yeah, there's only downsides and you may lose a lot of money and you may get your phone infected and so on. Anyways, guys, if you want to find legitimate cheats, head over to hackerbot.net. Just Google hackerbot or game hacks and you will be able to find mods, hacking tools, whatever you want. On our main page, you have a hack for a game hacking guide for Android, for iOS. You have the most popular games. You have the most popular game hacking apps. You can head over to our Free Finder, enter your game, whatever it is, Free Fire 2020 Android Hack Mod. And you will be able to find legitimate posts legitimate downloads if there are any up-to-date versions of the mod that you're looking for or the hack that you're looking for available at the moment thanks you guys for watching i hope you guys have fun and do your game hacking as safely as humanly possible and i'll see you guys later on hackerbad.net